Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Kozlux and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get good at Brawlhalla. So this is going to be a very vague tutorial because it's basically learning and I'm going to be telling you guys how to get good, how to understand the game and how to get good at it and master it. So it's basically like how to be pro because pro players they need to know all the information. They need to know what's true by how much spacing every fact about the game except the lore because nobody knows the lore unless you're a weeaboo i'm kidding i'm just, if you know the lore you're not a weeaboo you may be a weeaboo but that doesn't matter today uh what matters is i'm gonna be showing you guys what does matter so the first thing and most obvious thing in my opinion to learn about brawlhalla is true combos how to do them and more like why they're true and others aren't. So if you don't know what a true combo is and, and you're new to the Brawlhalla or you're watching this video, a true combo is two attacks in a row that you can't dodge out of. A dodge takes, I think, one to two frames to start or something like that. I actually don't know this. This is like, you need to know it's not that many frames to start a dodge. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it's around three frames until you get that it could be it's probably two i don't know the exact number but it's like one two or three my point is dodges are very instantaneous so they're almost instant from when you input them so learning what's true is vital so downlight there is a true combo it's hard to pull off downlight recovery is a true combo downlight side there's a true combo even down like neutral air is a true combo. That was two dodge frames. That's three dodge frames. That's true there. So those dodge frames, see how it's 18 dodge frames? It shows that there's 18 frames where a player can dodge between the two hits. So that's six dodge frames right there. If I do that, that's five dodge frames. So my point is that learning which combos are true is vital. And if you can't do them, but you know that they're true, like side light downer, learn to do them, practice them over and over again. If you have tap up to jump, it's actually really hard to do side light downer. Like that's me using the space, but I, I don't think I can do it with tap up to jump. Let me see. Yeah, you, if you use tap up to jump, you cannot use side light down there. It's actually like, if you can use it, I want to keep trying. This is me using tap up to jump. Yeah, you cannot use it if you use tap up to jump because you need to jump and use down there right at the same time to actually do it. So turn off tap up to jump. It's in the controls and make sure up is aim up and use space to jump if you can't do it. But learning combos like side light downer and doing it consistent is vital. But side light downer and light is two dodge frames, right? So even getting things down to one to two dodge frames are very important for strings like side light side air. And even it can hit white, it's just a bit harder. It's actually dependent on the pickup. You can't pick it up too close. Or you can, and I'm just. It, it, it's kind of weird pick up on white health. But yeah, side light side air, if you can get that to one frame, side light nair is true. And this is for every weapon, doesn't need to be just Roland, right? So it's learning what what combos are true and what aren't. Um, next thing that you should learn about Brawlhalla is legends. Every single legend's combination and signatures. So no, if you see the startup of a neutral sig, then you know where the hitboxes are going to be. Like if I start a down sig, they're always going to be in that position. If I start, they're gonna be a bit closer and learning to move around those signatures and punish is vital, right? If I get a bot, and it's the same with light attacks, knowing where side light goes, knowing where down light does and knowing where an end light does, it's, it's vital. And it's just kind of playing the game more to really memorize and that's all it takes. You can't really force yourself. But if this bot is now on hard, and the damage reset is going, he's gonna use moves like side light. I knew where it's gonna go. I knew where end light's gonna go. I knew where his nair is gonna go, so I avoided it. 
right? It's all about avoiding. That was bad of me. But I knew where his side light was going to go. I could hit him there. Went for the end light. And you, that was a good stare on his part. But the point is, no matter which moves he uses, I need to know where they're going to be. You don't need to, like, realize it instantaneous. But right after they use a move, it's like what's safe and what isn't. For example, I'm going to... If I use a side seg, I may think, hey... Let me go back. I might think, hey, I see this move. It only has these hitboxes, so you're over here. It's like, oh, I can easily punish it because the signature is over. But then a couple frames later, it's got that horizontal range and it moves a bit forward. So it's really knowing where things are gonna hit. Things like Nash Hammer Down Sig, if you try it yourself, it moves super far. So knowing the length is very important, especially because it's got a lot of startup frames or yeah start yeah start up so that's another thing next doing your controls properly i kind of went over this before but making sure your controls are in like a proper format if you use controller the base controls are pretty good i used to use base i used my lb to dash because it's quicker but it like it really like other pros use the triggers so it really doesn't matter i just find lb quicker but yeah you could and anything's fine with controls, just make sure you don't have tap up to jump. Pick up with light attack should also always be turned off. If you don't know where that is, it is down here. Make sure that's always off. So pick up by throwing weapons. And next, if you want to get good, the best way to do it is, is ranked. So like only play ranked. It's the best way to put yourself in those situations where you need to win. And just think about getting the win, not about playing right. Because if you're winning, you are playing right. Even if you're running. No offense, if you run the whole game, like, you may gain some elo, but you're not going to gain as much. You have to be really good at running. <laughs> but even if you win, that's all that matters. You may face toxicity. I have. And I've faced a lot of it. But it's all about winning. A couple years ago, I spammed Scarlet down sick because I had no recovery frames. I won. And it took me to a good enough elo where I learned spacing, it forced me to. And I did well because of it. So really force yourself to play ranked if you do want to get better at this game. And the last thing is join as many tournaments as possible. If you play in as many tournaments as possible, you're getting that experience in competing. And you can always try better to place higher every tournament. Uh, tournaments can be found on the main menu. Uh, here are all the official tournaments coming up, and here are all the community ones. You can find more outside of the game, you just gotta look up Brawlhalla tournaments, and you can find them on Smash GG. But like, even ones that aren't for money, you can find all over Challenge. So just compete, and have fun, and learn from your mistakes, right? Play ranked, and I promise you, you'll get better at the game. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys all later. Take care. Goodbye.